Hello everyone, I'm here today to give you some insights about credit management. FSCM is running this component and we have substantial changes and updates at the configuration level. I have selected three to show you as a tip. Then, uh, I, as we know, we have much more updates in this component. It's one of the components in SAP that has changed at the most uh, regarding the advent of the S4 HANA. Let's take a look here. I'll show you some difference in ECC in comparison with the S4 HANA regarding the automatic credit control OVA8. We have lots of change in there, including we have lots of uh, tickets open in, in SAP, like uh, SAP Support Launchpad, asking SAP, oh, hey, what happened with my fields? And then we can see here that the fields was not erased or disabled from nothing. But rather than this, the fields is an updating and then the configuration settings was transferred to another part of the system. Just like credit check, all of credit check regarding the automatic credit control is defined here in this pro. Then I will show you here the main idea on that. Credit limit check, then also the credit limit check, we have uh, some kind of obsolete configurations that we can uh, highlight here, the usage of this. Let's advance a little bit. Before I go ahead, I'll show you this SAP note 2207394. Let's show you in the page. This is the SAP note I have mentioned. It. Up there, we have here some description regarding the body, body update. This UKM R3 activate. In S4 HANA, you can activate this to, to have the new credit management working. Um, this uh, is a very important note that we have a comparison from the OV8, which is the main configuration settings regarding the credit checks. And as we can see here, we have the old way in ECC in comparison to the S4 HANA. Any kind of uh, questions that you might have re regarding this different, you can find here in this SAP note. This is a really important note. Down here, down there, we have also some related topics notes, then you can get deep on this, all right? This is the credit check, is the new configuration for credit check. We can find it in SPRO. The objective of this, we have multiple checking rules to be assigned at the business partner level. When we create a business partner, we can assign a business partner function and UKM000, then two additional tabs is going to be displayed in this screen. One is credit worthiness and the other is the credit profile. In credit profile, underneath the same company code, we can assign several check rules, right? Then uh, instead we have in OVA8, fix the credit check by credit control area. So we got more flexibility. Down here in the screen at the bottom, we have a screen uh, indicating some individual steps for credit checks. We have lots of them. We have credit insurance, insurance collateral, adjustment, dunning level, and so on. In the last configuration I brought today, we have the credit limit check. These configuration settings is to assign the sales document type for instance, we have OR, which is the standard order. Then we assign at this point the credit check. The credit check limit is going to say which kind of limit or which kind of uses this limit has. Right now, we no longer have availability to assign ABC. We have only D that says credit management automatic credit control, which is we have to check the credit, the type of limit control in the OVA8, where we can define if you can block the sales document or if you can set up this as warning message or error message and so on. So this is the configuration setting has, has changed here in the system. Thank you for watching. You can find me in my professional networks just like Instagram, YouTube and LinkedIn. 
Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.